God dang it. Truth about how you really died. And about how the scene in your cabin really came to be? What the heck is this? Oh my god, this theme song! I got chills! Alright, I'll see what I can do! There, that's the spirit. Excellent! Thank you, Mr. Naruhodo. Oh, thank you, Sasato. Jeez, thank you, everybody. So then, shall we begin? Yes! What we should ponder first. Hmm. Is the victim who lost his life in a cabin that was bolted shut from the inside. Was this truly an unfortunate accident? Was in fact no accident at all? That is what we must establish in the first instance. Uh, but we've already established it, haven't we? Uh, we have, haven't we? The man tripped over the kitten and that climbed into a cabin via the ventilator. Tragic, yes, but still an accident. Or was it just made to look like an accident? Wait, let's just take a step back. It doesn't make sense if that's really what happened. Does it? Um, I'm going to have to ask you to spell it out for me, I'm afraid. <laughs> yeah, please. It's starting to take shape now. There's a clear contradiction between the facts. It must have a story. Evidence is right here in Cosmo's cabin. It's undeniable. His death couldn't possibly have been a mere accident. What do you mean? Uh, really? Let us show our hand, Mr. Navarrohodo. Time to present the evidence! Okay, I'll try and... Think about it. The evidence that proves... The victim's death was no mere accident. If he did slip on the bell and instantly... Break his neck, then yeah, how would he... Hold on, there's a lot that's weird about this. If he tripped over there... How did he get the ink over there? How did he even die over there? Hold up, can I can I look at the scene again? Oh, I don't think I can. Uh, I don't have it. Uh, okay, let's break it down. What am I trying to say? I think it's rather strange how. Huh. I think I might have disproven my own theory, but no, wait. Okay, the mark on the floor is here. We know because of Susado's testimony. This is probably Cosmo's shoe. Then how the crud did he land all the way over here? That's weird, bro. Come on. Yes. That's a little suspect. Wait a minute. Oh my god. No. What about the the alert emergency stop? That would have moved his body around. It moved the books, right? Ah, oh, crud. The truth is clearly recorded in the photographic print even though I think I'm wrong. There's no way that Mr. Osogi could have left this message on the floor. That script. It's Russian, isn't it? What? Where are you going with this? I'm confused. What? Indeed it is. The word written means war... Drobe? It's wardrobe. I see what you mean. Most people leaving a dying message in their native language. Japanese in this case. B -b 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 maybe he was... Studying Russian? No, he. What? It's a simple language. He could have picked it up very fast. I'm sure. Yeah. Real. Li Doesn't seem likely, lady. That's actually not the point I'm making. It makes no difference whether he knew Russian or not. Uh, sorry. What do you mean? I don't know yet. Exactly what I said before. Uh. There is no way that Mr. Osoki could have left this message on the floor. And the reason why is clearly explained here. Damage to the cervical vertebrae results in instant death. Instant death? Yeah, he wouldn't have time to write anything! I think this was framed. What the heck? Dude! Which means after the victim fell to the floor, he couldn't have possibly written anything! Because he was already dead! Uh... uh. That's not the only reason, either. There's something else we found in Mr. Sogi's cabin. A remnant of something that couldn't possibly have been there. If what Miss Pavlova told us was true. Uh, what? Oh my god. It's just Sasato knows it, too. Yeah, I totally knows it as well. <laughs> Putting this message on the floor aside, there's something else that gives the truth away. Another piece of evidence 
That proves this was no accident. I'm... Uh, it proves it was no accident. The ship log, no. I'm thinking it's the bell. If that's the case, then why... Why wasn't the rest of the bell also in the trash bin in Pavlova's room? Yes. I'm going with that. And I hope I'm right. I'm seriously guessing so much. This. This piece of broken glass next to the mark on the floor. But that's the glass bell the kitten had around its neck. We already know all about that. It was broken in half when the victim tripped over the cat and fell. So we already have a satisfactory explanation. Where's the flaw in that logic? Unfortunately... There's a very big flaw. A fatal one. Oh, I get it, because he died. Wait, what? If that's really what happened, then how did one half of the bell end up back here in this cabin? Uh, uh, well... Uh, yes, remember when we found the other half of the glass bell in that waste paper basket? Would you care to explain that, Miss Pavlova? Oh, dang, she mad. I'm pretty ticked, too. You wouldn't frame this. Like, come on. That's effed up! If it was your cat causing an accident, that's one thing! But pinning the murder on somebody else? Come on, like, it's gotta be deeper. There's gotta be more of an explanation. Both these pieces of evidence clearly point to the same conclusion. That when Mr. Asogi died last night in his cabin, there was someone else in that room! And the same person deliberately arranged the scene to disguise the truth. I'm starting to think maybe a certain Russian speaker in order to cover up his or her own guilt. Yeah! I didn't do what I swear. Yes, there was someone else present in Mr. Sogi's. Wow, huh? You're wasting time! Someone else was there! Wait, how am I talking? Duh! I come We know this! What are you talking about? This isn't common knowledge last time I checked. Bulkhead was shot and shot from inside. There was no way in nor out. Uh, uh, oh, yes, right. Getting ahead of myself. <laughs> Can't get carried away with Naruto, though. He's rather persuasive, though. And only person in common when young student died was you. But that's... Dude, you should know your own ship. It's true. I was in the cabin when it happened. However, you were shut inside the cabin wardrobe to be precise about the details. That's not what- I don't know any Russian! There's no way I could have left that message. Not would have. There's no way you could have left the message. Apparently you don't know English either, Navrota. Yes, I do! I'm very good at it! <gasps> would, would you mind? Oh, well, I'll let you have your moment. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I'm the star show. Forgive me, my dear fellow. I'll go over here. I want to hang from this banister again. Yee! Uh, as I was saying, the person in question wrote the word wardrobe in Russian on the floor in an attempt to incriminate me from the crime, even though I'd been asleep in there the entire time. But that begs the question. How did they know you were in there? Naruhodo, do we have an answer? I... Uh... And then... The same person picked up the broken glass bell that had fallen to the floor for fear of it becoming evidence that would show how Mr. Sogi really died. But why wouldn't this person have taken all the pieces of the bell away? That's a fair point. Leaving half a bell behind was always going to raise questions. Well, um, not there yet. It was one past the clock in the early hours of the morning. The cabin would have been quite dark. Oh yeah, the light's off! Wait. No. Then how was Mr... Oh right, there's a candle on the, the thing right there! The lantern wasn't on! The single small lamp suspended from the ceiling would have barely have cast any light on the floor there. And there you have it! I've cast a light on this situation! <laughs> Little wonder, then, that the culprit failed to notice a fragment of the tiny item. That checks out, I guess. You all suspect me, don't you? Don't cry. I'm so confused. What? Uh, well, he got rid of his pet. Uh, Seaman Stroganoff? I. What is going on? 
Nina is woman of sea. She is daughter of strong sailor. What? Two years ago, they noticed her dancing skills and she went away to join ballet company. But before, she was dancer on this ship, a member of ship's band. Huh? What? You do not accuse ship's angel of being criminal. Uh, 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 be that as it may, you say that when young student died, Nina was there in cabin. But that not possible. I'll give my tooth. Uh, how would we even go about that? Well, I know a dentist, but ah, well, this is all most interesting, but, uh, mm, why would you give your tooth? And how can you be so sure? <laughs> you're a great detective? You should know! Uh, don't my sake, I do. <laughs> Look truth in eyes. With both. Carbon bulkhead was bolted shut from inside. Nobody could go into cabin. Not Nina, not Casper ghost like friend, not anyone. Well, maybe him. I, I'll check wiki. All you want to tell me killer can walk through locked door. Yet, impossible. Uh, he's right. I ain't no ghost. Not yet. Uh, why I never am. But wait. I've read about this in a detective story. People often tie the threads around door latches so they can open and close them from the outside. Uh, thread? Why you speak for them? You stoop? These bulkheads are not barn doors. Did you really have to call the little lady stupid? That's rather... Certainly not. There are watertight doors, they are. As one would expect to find on any modern steamship. Constructed of heavy steel, with not a gap in sight. No threads or needles or magnets could have been used. What about the weight of an entire cruise ship? Ooh. N no. Of course not. I thought so too. But Mr. Naruto suggested it earlier. What? What? Huh? It's really his idea. I'd never make such a foolish mistake, ran Mr. Sholmes, especially. You! You! <laughs> How could you shift it onto me? You demon! So steam, <laughs> steam man stroganoff sounds like a superhero. Yes, when I was young boy, I watched steam man stroganoff on. Uh, for TV's invented yet? I don't actually. I listened to steam man stroganoff tale on radio. I admire so much. I name himself after me. Or was it the other way around? Ah, let's back on topic. So steam man stroganoff has a valid point. Startling, but the cabin door couldn't have been bolted shut from the outside. Not necessarily. What? What commentator said? What? I put it to you that I could bolt this cabin door without laying a finger on it. Uh, 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 is he magician? Unlikely, detective and magician. That's ridiculous. And in this very cabin, we can see the traces of the method I have in mind, having been used before. The, yes, he's right, the books! I don't believe it! Well, start believing it. Mr. Naruhodo, I believe you know what I mean, don't you? I sure do. Let's go. One way does spring to mind, yes. Do you really know what Mr. Sholmes means? Are you one in the same, Mr. Naruhodo? I wouldn't go that far, but... And so should you. <laughs> Let me guess. You don't, because we've seen it happen before. Indeed we have. So would you care to do the honors, Mr. Navarro? With pleasure. Let's go. Point out the telling signs of the method used. Okay, I got it, so I can Point out the telling signs of the method yes. used. That's what they're asking for, not the actual way to do it. Look at the bookcase there. God, why did I second guess myself so hard? So how all the books and things on it have toppled over? Well, that that's strange. I, d come on, think about it. That must have happened when we made an emergency stop. Yes, that's right. It's a very powerful vessel, after all. When the engines are thrown into reverse, a violent jolt goes across the entire ship. 
It's epic. Dude, that explains everybody's headaches. Oh my god! This is genius! It's real ice attorney! Any small objects that aren't fastened down are bound to fall over. Like me! Ah, lost a thing. It's happened multiple times. <laughs> Actually, no, it has happened to uh, Hosanaga. God, he's getting beat up and thrown around. This sucks. This job's pain in the butt. It's not affected my tukus yet, but I imagine it could one day. <laughs> I believe, yes, the tukus. But also, it's what's known as the force of inertia acting on the objects. Is there nothing Sasato doesn't know? She's so effing smart. What even is that book? Is it a dictionary? It's gotta be. Well, whatever it's called, the same force that pushed over those books on the bookcase also made something else in the cabin move. That, the bolts on the cabin door. I don't know why I'm so surprised. We knew this like 30 minutes ago. I, I know it's, it was very obvious just after the emergency stop. The ship, the ship made earlier. We'd come into the cabin not long ago. And before, we hadn't bolted the door. But then... Y'all remember. This last episode, we already know this crap. Hello, is anybody there? Shout to Fasis. That sounds like a crud. Oh, it's Inspector Osanaga. Well, apparently I forgot who the frick was at the door. Oh, yes. It was Mr. Stroganoff. Now it was Mr. Osanaga. That's it. When the ship stopped suddenly, the bolt flew across and locked the door. Yes, it's made of steel, but it's small and light enough to be moved by the ship's sudden change of speed. That is actually so effing clever. God, what kind of, they got WD-40 on this ship? God dang, them things, they should be tighter. Just saying. Or the force of an, ineptia? Is that what you called it? I thought I misread it like, but uh, you really don't know basic English number, no? <laughs> if you're not guilty of murder, you're guilty of the inability to read. Uh, are you trying to say that last night, Mr. Sogi was killed by the ship? No way. Uh, yo, it's so cool we're seeing this like happen live though. Oh, that's such a cool detail. And that's how it happened. It still doesn't explain the the whole cat angle, but uh, the SS Booyah made an Another emergency stop? Apparently. When I woke up this morning and looked around the cabin, I thought it looked a little odd. All the books on the shelves had toppled over. And all the ornaments, too. It was almost as if someone had run their hand across the shelves and deliberately knocked everything over. Yes, I remember that. Also, a sword's on the ground, too. Homie loved his sword! Ain't no way gonna let that happen! And I stood them all up again, didn't I? Yeah. You disrupted the crime scene, that's, I'll forgive you, but... Then we came into this cabin. We're surprised the same thing happened in here. All the books and everything had toppled over, just like in Mr. Asogi's cabin. Oh my, you're right. Do you have anything to say about this, Miss Pavlova? D uh... Are you out of mind? You say Boya made a emergency stop? It does seem a little... Uh, far-fetched. How could that possibly have happened? Unless you're saying that the culprit is actually someone from the engine room. I... Oh, it is simple enough. Uh, I beg your pardon. Oh, have you forgotten the button in the passageway outside? Used to trigger the emergency alarm? I... Oh, yes, of course. I totally remembered, but uh, anyway... There was a notice there, wasn't there? Telling you only to press the button in the times of emergency? Yeah, maybe someone found the... Uh, hmm. If they found the body, they probably wouldn't want it to be an emergency. I don't know. This is so strange. On dark nights when the fog is dense, the captain cannot afford to rely on the eyes of his lookout alone. Hence the placement of a number of buttons around the vessel to allow any crewman to raise the alarm. Yeah, that makes sense. But then who pressed the button? The sort of button is one. Almost compelled to press to satisfy one's curiosity. <laughs> oh, I'm so envious of this villain. They gotta press the button and I did not! <laughs> oh well. Strong enough. Ah, uh, wait! It was you? Ah, uh, when the button is pressed, two things happen. 
in the interest of safety. The emergency alarm bell rings and the vessel comes to a complete stop. And as indeed it did a little earlier today. Did you actually press the button? If you accidentally killed Cosima, oh my god, Sholmes. I'ma slap you. I'ma slap you silly. Everyone's mortified. I cannot believe he's such a baboon. M Mr. Sholmes? Surely it wasn't you who... As I always say, a button has but one purpose in life. To be pressed, whatever the occasion! <laughs> Don't let this dude in the White House! Oh my god, what's this? Oh no. He sounds almost proud of himself. You! You and that finger of yours! Stop it! How dare you mess with ship! I shall throw you off! I report you to captain! You're in much trouble now. Now, 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 I'm sure all that can wait until... I'm off the ship. <laughs> we'll dock in a few days, right? Uh, let us not overlook the fact that we have now learned a valuable lesson. Don't go pressing random buttons. You should all be thankful I'm such a great teacher. I teach by doing, after all. When the vessel makes an emergency stop, the bolts on the cabin doors slide closed. So, what we must now consider is... Yes, it all comes down to one thing now. It does? Huh? Last night, after what happened to Mr. Asogi, did this ship make an emergency stop? Or did it not? Ugh! You are idiots! Boy, you shoot ship with many passengers! We make emergency stop in the middle of night, there will be chaos everywhere. Uh, wasn't there? What are your thoughts, Mr. Naruhoto? Uh, well, I, it's possible that some kind of emergency happened last night. We have evidence to support that idea. We do? The, uh, what evidence, Naruhoto? My cranium be hurty. You can't be serious. <laughs> oh, do show us, my good man. Fascinating. What evidence promotes the theory that some emergency gripped this vessel last night? Uh, my head hurts. Oh. Oh. We could also use that. Huh. Because they are specifying last night. Just let me double check. I'm trying to, like... Make sure there's nothing around here that mentions my head. All right. Yes. We got that. What do you think? Seaman Stroganoff, it's your duty to patrol the first class area of the ship. Is that right? Duh. That is correct. Why? And the ship's log here. This will be where you record the details of your duties, correct? What are you doing with that? That is mine. You criminal and now thief. Well, a criminal is also thief, but... Uh, Details, details, give! You're rather careless left it atop the little makeshift bureau in the passageway out there. You should be more careful with your things! But as a reasonable passengers, we took it into our own care with a mind to return it to you later. <laughs> that's so- I left it there purpose, that's where it go! Ah! Why? You people make me see! Not seasick, though. I've, I'm very seasoned seaman. The point is, looking at what you usually record, it's clear that under normal circumstances, you write the phrase nothing to report every 30 minutes. But what about 2 o'clock last night? Until first light this morning. Nothing was recorded at all. N nothing at all? And the log? Aliens could have invaded and we wouldn't have known! This is... Uh, uh, because nothing happened. Why waste ink from Quill? It's valuable. But if nothing happened, you would normally write nothing to report. Wouldn't you? <laughs> that was the worst gulp of my life. What the? You can have one more try, my fellow. I'm trying again. <laughs> hmm. Your first attempt was better, but uh, indeed. It tells us that shortly after 2 a.m., something happened here aboard the SS Burya. No! 
that's not uh, something sufficiently significant to make you forget to fill in the ship's log. In fact, <laughs> you really should have just went back and like filled it in. Like, I don't know. are you suggesting that the ship really did make an emergency stop in the middle of the night? Stop uh, t talking rubbish. Mm. If I'm perfectly honest, I find that a little hard to believe myself. What? Why? Well, because if something as major as an emergency stop had really happened, surely all of us would have noticed. Uh, that's very true. Thanks to the emergency stop we experienced earlier, we all know what it feels like now. Mm, the ship lurched so violently. And the alarm bell was so loud. I can't imagine that anybody would sleep through that. Right, the bell. How do we explain that? Well, I get why Naruhoto probably didn't notice it, because... You know, he was... No, but he still got his head hit. Dude, what gives? This is so weird. Well, no, that's a good point. Crap. We lost the advantage. You really should get it back. <laughs> I, I just... What of the throbbing? I beg your pardon. Now is not the time. What do you mean? Your head, my man. Please use it. The throbbing of your head since this morning. We've all suffered with it. Some for better, for worse. The larger the head, the more it hurts, I hear. <laughs> uh, uh, yes, you have quite a large head. <laughs> I have a headache. You're right. Possibly due to the pummeling I received, but uh, in fact, I haven't been feeling myself since I woke up today. Nor have I. So, my head has been feeling heavy ever since dawn. Yes, you've all been afflicted, haven't you? Shame, really. Don't believe there's a Kirogen anywhere nearby, but uh, just as I suspected. He's right, my head's been throbbing too. We all get it. Our head hurting, as I said from the start. And since eating dinner yesterday, everything has felt sort of hazy. Huh? The dinner? I can't really remember anything that happened after I climbed back inside the wardrobe. Weird. Th then we were drugged too? No. The first thing I noticed this morning was the throbbing pain in my head. If we were drugged, then we that would have showed up in the autopsy for Kazuma. I already been dragged out of the wardrobe and put in chains. Why didn't I wake up when all this was happening to me? Yeah, dude. If someone put... That's a good point. I thought he was just a heavy sleeper. Tell me, Naruhodo. How do you sleep? I'm usually a pretty light sleeper. No! Do you have a stuffed animal? I highly recommend them. They're wonderful. Also, you boarded this vessel in a stowaway. Didn't you? Uh, yeah, it was a stowaway. Uh, sorry. That's not what I'm asking. The stowaway class of accommodation doesn't usually include meals. However, did you survive? Uh, Cosmo looked after me and he was always happy to share his meals. What a fellow. So you enjoyed some of his whole roast chicken dish. I was served yesterday evening, I take it? Uh, yeah, how'd you know? I had all of it. Cosmo wasn't found uh, fond of chicken, you see. It's a long story. Ah, oh, we haven't had the time. So the victim didn't eat any of the chicken at all. Hmm. He was too chicken, do you so? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. He didn't touch it. I is that relevant? Why? You really laugh at your own jokes a lot. That's because they're so good, Norihodo. I... <laughs> you just wouldn't get it. My dear fellow, does that not strike you as... Strange. Uh, uh, oh, Mr. Shams, do you mean to say that there was something wrong with the chicken? Yes, I do. N no, what? I is that really true? We did get poisoned? The meal prepared for the passenger last night had been tampered with. I'm sure of it. Tampered with by the addition of a support. Naruhodo, help. Uh, I think that says soporific. Ah, oh, yes! Soporific! Designed to induce a very deep sleep. 
and those who consume it. Uh, a sleeping drug? Why would you just poison them? Wait a minute, because if you poison them, there'd be a trace. <sighs> uh, what do you mean? I'm rather lost. Whoever did this laced every meal with a sleeping drug? So no one would notice the ship's emergency stop? That's a lot of drugs, man! Mr. Naruto, you sound excited. I not, I'm not, I don't like drugs. Of course, that's not what Mr. Shulms means. What a far-fetched idea. Mm, yes, I would never uh, suggest that <laughs> precisely. Instead, lacing every meal of every passenger on board with a... <clears throat> Soporific. Drug would certainly be impossible, unless, that is, every single member of the crew was a conspirator. Oh, uh, Mr. Sholmes, that's a big claim. What? Well, Seaman, what say you to that? Could you repeat? I doze off. I did not sleep well last night. <laughs> you too, huh? Well... Maybe we'll try this again tomorrow. No, no, no time for that. I'm sorry to say that any more deception in this matter will get you nowhere. Uh, man, he looks almost sad. Crud, man. Just, just tell us the truth. If it was an accident, we'll understand. If you refuse to talk, there would have been an inquiry made through the shipping company, of course. And I don't think you want that, do you? And if that were to happen, every member of the crew and the captain himself will be hauled over the coals. For aiding and abetting a renegade. Uh, you, you lost me. What? Huh? I'm so confused. A, a renegade? What? Please, no more. I will tell everything. No, oh, I cannot make problem like this for everyone anymore. What's going on? These crewmen are your former comrades, I believe. Huh? Is she actually? Uh, uh, what? Like a like a military? <laughs> yes. So when I decide to run away, I ask them to help me. We all agree to help. Everyone together. What the f- Huh? So she threw away everything. Her fame and ballet. Mother Russia. We want to help our angel. I don't believe I got that message. I guess- uh, I guess that's why it was rather pussy with the bird. You are right. But you really should eat more, Mr. Hosanaga. Ah, we put sleeping drug in chicken last night. We, we did not... We, we, we splashed it on the marinade. I thought it was fine, but... I remember now. I did notice chewing on a lump of something strange and bitter at one point. Ah. Th we could not make all drug. How do you say dissolve? Bits of glass still in chicken, but <laughs> imagine our hoda's just chomping on. <laughs> Ow! That hurt my tooth. Oh well, gotta eat. Talk about heavy seasoning. Ew. And yet, I am chicken man just the same. At midnight in water near Shanghai, we brought our angel on board. She was helped by comrade on shore with small fish boat. While all the passengers of the SS Boya slept soundly, I see. Thanks to the almost magical efforts of the slumber-inducing potion, their evening meal had contained. How'd y'all get that much drugs? God dang! They ain't to be messed with! So, if that's what happened, then only people awake on the ship last night were the crew, people who dislike chicken, and... Miss Pavlova, the newly boarded passenger. You're joking. And that means it would have been possible for you to... But no! You could have used the emergency stop trick to lock Cosmo's cabin. But why? Just because he saw you? Trying to get your cat back? No way! 
That's ridiculous. Don't let that be the case, please. I don't want her to go to jail. How does that make any sense? I, we've, we've been spinning around and around for hours and I'm still confused. Surely every cabin would have been locked in that case. And there would have been complete chaos. Oh, I wouldn't say so. Uh, what? Uh, of course. Just like us, all the passengers would have eaten their evening meal of chicken in their cabins. After which they would have been overwhelmed by the tiredness because of the sleeping drug. But then how did Pavlova get into Cosmo's cabin then? Quite. And accordingly, all passengers were already in their cabins for the night. Y yes, I... The overwhelming majority of passengers would have habitually slept with their cabin doors bolted anyway. And so not one of them would have found it remarkable to find the door locked in the morning. Then why was Cosmo's door unlocked? I don't get it. In summary, in order to fasten the bolt of a single cabin door of the ship, a culprit brought the entire vessel to an emergency stop in the early hours of the morning. It's one heck of a setup. But how does Cosmo have anything to do with this? We're still missing that p oh. You have talked long time. And said many things. Few of which I understand, but... What is point? The point is what I said earlier, my fellow. There was somebody else present on the scene when the victim lost his life last night. Someone who left a message in Russian on the floor in an attempt to incriminate another. Someone who tried desperately to hide the broken fragments of glass that would reveal the culprit's identity. You're effing joking. I think I finally get it. Stroganov could access this room. And Naruhoto probably fell out of the cabin. Dude! So that's how he... That's how they framed it. And someone who abused the ship's emergency sub. Procedure in order to lock a door. So it wasn't you, right, Sholmes? Right? All told a busy night. Goodness, however do you rest? But... 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 but I... Don't know any of this... I am just little girl. You like speak with your long English words and explain your clever ideas. But I am sailor, and sailors don't listen too long. Boring story. We don't believe. It's in sailor code. I, I, I do not ask for source. I do not have it. <laughs> sailor like me, we trust only what we see with our eyes. Just like icebergs? Oh, goodness. <laughs> you won't survive long. Uh, a laudable trait. What does laudable mean, you a-hole? A-hole stand for part of sheep that no one like. Kind of like Barto- I'm quite of the same disposition, my good man. Observation is, to me, everything. Got it. Mr. Navarhoto? Oh, I spaced out. Do you hear it? That accusatory cry of guilt of the wind. No. What accusatory cry of guilt? The OST! Come on, open your ears! Y you've lost me, Sholmes. I'm sorry. I... Proof of involvement, man. But you can't hear such a cry with your ears. No. You must hear it with your eyes, for observation is the basis of all deduction. Uh, what are you talking about? Speak normal! I refuse. <laughs> I believe the time has come. Mm. For one final logic and reasoning spectacular to expose the truth! Here I go! Whee! Time to dance! Number one, oh, join me! I don't wanna... So, Mr. Navarhodo, your assistance, if you please, and make it snappy. Uh, what? What do you need help with exactly? With observation, my dear fellow. I have only one pair of eyes and, well, one pair of x-ray goggles, but I, as I just said, of these two, pre -var uh, I also need help with this word. Oh, my effing God. It says prevaricator. Just... 
They could have just said liar. My God. Uh, 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 observation. I, if you remember, Mr. Naruto, we know that somebody tried to fabricate evidence, don't we? By tampering with the scene of Osogi's death. What we're looking for is some trace of evidence that one of these two was there when it happened. Other than the Russian angle. Precisely, you are delightfully quick to grasp my meaning. Well, she's a big fan. She's trying real hard. I'll see what I can do? So we're looking for a trace of evidence that shows someone else was there last night. All right. Well, you look at my bicep. What big deal? Are they actually, like, father and daughter? I don't, I, I, I don't, maybe... What I'm thinking is, like, is she, like, actually a revolutionary? Why is it the left E? Oh. Oh! Oh my god! How did I never notice that? I thought it was just a fashion trend! Little Missy. Yes. Where the crud's your earring at? Don't tell me it's a fashion state. God dang it. <laughs> I noticed the daintily jewelry you're wearing on your ears, Miss Pavlova. You were to find a piece of those earrings in Mr. Asogi's cabin? It would prove without a doubt that you were there. Although we haven't actually found anything yet, so... But if we ever do... <sighs> Navrahodo, I said don't be cringe. Now I have to take away one of your golden stars if you keep this up. What precisely was your intention with that? I, uh, just following the natural progression of the deduction, sometimes the truth hurts. Much like getting your ears pierced. Well, the truth is you don't have a turn for observation or deduction. Did that hurt? <laughs> I bet it smarted. <sighs> All right, back to square one. How exactly were we supposed to show that someone else was there when Kazuma died? I can think of two possible ways. Oh, thank God, you can. Either we find a trace of something that person in question left behind at the scene, or if that's not possible. A trace of something the person took away from the scene, but be that accidentally or deliberately. A trace of something they took away. Ah. Uh... If you observe closely enough, I believe you'll find examples of both. Uh, give them a long, hard, and compromising stare from all sides. That's my advice. Maybe they're f a fingertip? No, he doesn't have any ink on his fingertip at all. Weird. Uh. <gasps> what? Close enough, though? Homie, yes. how do you explain this? If you never went in there, why you got an ink stain, bruh? Second try. I got it. Seaman Stroganoff, you seem to have quite a large purple stain on the back of your white uniform there. Is that up to code? Uh, uh, uh y yes, I uh, don't know where dirt comes from, but you know, ship's very dirty. Especially the a-hole, it's disgusting, I never go there. <laughs> I'm so sorry. So nothing in particular comes to mind about the stain? What what you trying to say? You think I go to A-hole? You go to A-hole! It would appear the significance of the stain has escaped your attention, sea man. Allow us to make it plain. <laughs> Another minigame, woo! It's a very large purple stain on the back of the seaman Stroganoff's uniform. And I think what made it is clear. Almost too clear. I'll no doubt F it up as usual. Indeed it is, and indeed you will. Be careful, Naruto. So, present the evidence that proves it. My pleasure. I'll write down the evidence that proves what that stain is. It's gotta be this. Right? Yes. Yes. Naruto agrees. Got him. God, this is so satisfying. I love this case. I will admit though, getting kinda sick of this effing room. I mean, I know it's a long stinking like sale, but geez. Yes, it's this photograph and the ink it shows. That's what caused the stain on your uniform. Ink? Who draw my back? Very rude. I uh, could be anyone with quill. A rather unusual color of ink. Purple. Ah, uh, not that rare, <laughs> is it? Ah, the penny drops at last. Now you see the significance. The Russian word on the floor next to the victim's body was written in the same purple ink. And the stain on the back of your uniform 
is exactly the same color. Yeah. That was Naruto saying that, by the way. <laughs> I have to. If the ink has been dry, it couldn't possibly have stained your uniform in that way. Which means you must have been present in the cabin in the moments immediately after the ink was spilt. So you're in there. Come on, bro. This is effed up. I legitimately thought it was the other sailor. But man, your hands are dirty, even if they aren't literally. All right. Yes. It was me. I did it. Everything. You even killed him? What the heck? Explain! I erased everything in Dash Storden's cabin to make it look like Wardrobe Man did it. Then I pressed button to make Boyard or emergency stop. And both cabin door shut. I did everything so no one would suspect our angel. That's... Uh, uh, be, be, ple, please? Mm, do not worry, angel. Let me do talking. Twas after one in morning. I was on duty patrolling passageway. But then our angel came to me. She was white like sheet. So cold. So white. <laughs> it's tragic. Oh yes, I'm crying, really crying. Beef, please. You must help me. I must overthrow government. <laughs> I don't think we're doing that angle anymore. I went with her. The door cabin number was open. When I look inside, I saw student boy on floor. So it really was? Oh! What happened here? Come on! Again? You always seem to accidentally make Japanese men sleep. Five times is startling pattern, Pavlov. <laughs> Please. Don't tell anyone. I... <laughs> my little one, my little furry friend. He... <laughs> Everything that happened in Carbon is like Angel told you. The kitten escaped through the ventilator into Mr. Soki's cabin? Then he tripped over and broke his neck? Really? Uh, yes, that is right. I know, it neither kick nor cringe. Well, a little cringe, I... Uh. So, after the incident when the cat ran away, Miss Pavlova then visited the cabin next to hers. But how was the door unlocked? Only to find its occupant lying lifeless on the floor. She said she was worried when she heard sound of falling on floor. But when she went to look... No? Angel? Mm, uh, so scared. Do you go to jail for this? I don't know. I. The door was not locked. So she opened to take a look and... Oh, I don't know what happened after. My tongue hurt from talking so much. <sighs> this is so insane. I cannot believe. It's almost comical. They, they give you this character that... I, I don't... I thought for sure it was going to be... Spoiler warning for Ace Attorney 1, like the first hour. The same way Mia went once I saw that, like, statue, bro. Jeez. There's just one thing, if you wouldn't mind. What is? When you went to Mr. Asogi's cabin, Miss Pavlova, was he already dead? Oh, 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 I... I already told you we need an open door student cabin. I was asking Miss Pavlova. Okay, I miss you. My apologies. Okay. <laughs> well, Miss Pavlova, was he dead or not? Uh, I think that's Da. Uh, uh oh, he was. Yes, that is right. I saw him. It was dark and he was wearing black, but he was on the floor. 
not moving. I was scared. Jeez. Come on, Dorka! Don't be killing people after up! I understand. And I believe you. How am I supposed to feel after this? There's no triumphant. Yeah, we did it! It's just. <sighs> despair. So is it finally over now? Have we discovered the real truth about Cosmo's death at last? It can't be that simple. Ah, something very nearly slipped my mind. Huh? Uh, what is it, Sholmes? Am I free to go? This photograph. Yes, I took this myself, you know. And no one's complimented me on my framing, please! I got everything in the shot! We're so very proud of you, Mr. Sholmes. You're the best ever. The cause of death was a broken neck. Therefore, the victim died instantly. And the unfortunate incident that precipitated these events. A kitten, in which the victim stumbled. However, if those are the facts, there is one particular area in this photograph that seems to be somewhat unnatural. You lost me. What do you mean, supernatural? I said unnatural for the record. Uh, what are your thoughts on the matter, Nis Nodohoro? Yeah, yeah, well, let me have a... Oh, no. Cosmo's ha headband finally stopped moving! No, it can't be that. If Cosmo tripped and fell, and by some terrible stroke of bad luck he broke his neck, which part of this photograph print seems unnatural? If he broke his neck? I... I'm so confused. I legitimately don't know. I've never seen someone with a broken neck, thank the lord! I'm fortunate- I'm so, Gosh. So happy about that. But if he broke his neck, would his neck be like that? I don't know. Yes. I'm so uncertain. It must be here, surely. Allow me to offer you a piece of advice regarding the pursuit of deduction, my dear fellow. When noting a cru crucial point, you'll be able to keep your eyes open. What? Ugh. I, I'm sorry. I, I have to. It would be equally helpful to use them. Your eyes. Go for it. <laughs> Great. I think it's plain what Mr. Sholmes means by unnatural, isn't it? Am I overthinking again? Is it his hand? The way he's positioned? The word written in a foreign language underneath his fingertip. Surely. That particular crass detail was orchestrated by the culprit. Now I mean to identify another point. Imagine, if you will, losing your footing yourself. Okay, I'm falling back. Ah! Would you let... Would you land as the victim has? What if your hands? No, if you fell like that, you'd catch yourself. I was under the impression he fell... Backward. But no, if what... If, if what Miss Pavlova's saying is correct... She... He was already like that. That's weird. I didn't even think of that. You look like... The sort of fellow who stumbles with some regularity, Naruhoto. You've messed up three times this episode. I... This should be an easy task for you, someone who's so well-versed. I want to slap you so bad. I want to slap you silly. If Cosmo tripped and fell by some terrible stroke of luck, and broke his neck, then his hands wouldn't be like this, right? Yes. No, wrong again. Crap, I can't keep messing up like this. If Cosmo tripped and fell, if he tripped and fell, and broke his neck. I guess you could. You could, what's it called? Still break your neck if you're falling forward. If he didn't catch himself. But if he was trying to catch himself, what? Okay. Do I actually, you know what, F it. I'm just gonna like fall down. If I break my mech, neck mid let's play, F it. Okay. <laughs> You'll have to believe me, man. It's a good thing we don't do videos with freaking face cam. Oh, I think I got it. I hurt my chest, but almost instinctively, 
both your hands are going to flatten to brace your fall. So, yeah, what? Uh, right. The other hand? That seems stupid. Maybe it's right. I don't know. YOLO. I think I'm on the right track of the train of deduction. All right. If he really fell due to an unfortunate accident, then his fist just doesn't seem quite right. Yeah, that's quite literally unnatural. Duh. That's what I said a moment ago. The same thought occurred to me. In a fall, one's instinct is to open the palms. <laughs> yeah, I learned by doing there. Yet we see the victim with his left hand tightly balled into a fist. Almost, you might say, as though he were gripping some. Huh? What? What do you mean? Shut up! Simply l that I took the liberty of investigating the victim's fur, uh, his fist a short while ago. You did? You didn't tell anybody? And what prey do you imagine I find there? Hmm. My dear fellow, I bet you can already guess. Mr. Shalms, please show us. I want to see. This is so exciting. A oh, man is dead! Susano, what? Why, of course, my dear madam. Would I keep you in suspense? Well, oh, yes, I uh, forgot. <laughs> Sorry. This is the, it's the earring. This is what I found. My, oh, my. Do you think it's made of real cheese? <laughs> a crescent moon with a little gemstone in the middle. Yes, you're right. A crescent moon. It's very pretty. What does it tell us? It tells us nothing. Maybe he is spiving jeweler. Nothing huge. No, it's huge. It looks familiar somehow. I've seen it somewhere before. I sure have. My god. Observation, Mr. Navarodo. Surely you can't botch this one. Yeah, I think I got it. The truth is now tantalizingly close. Yeah, it is. God. So why did he have that? This is the final clue. The last piece of the puzzle. Because I made the video game you're now playing. <laughs> yeah. Ask yourself, what does this little crescent moon mean? What significance has it? Uh, and observe. Find the answer with your own eyes. Come on, boss. Come on, lady. Don't be killing people. It's after all. And mean. And Cosmo was the coolest guy ever. What the dump? Stop it. Anyway, it's clearly there. She has such petite ears among the beautiful hair. Not the time, Sasato! Like little pink shells. Uh, huh? That's true. I want a novel on them. No, stop it, Sasato! There's something attached to her ear. I expect that's what's called an earring. It's a little piece of jewelry. An earring? It really is tiny. Perhaps part of it is missing. Maybe broken off? So now that all's left is the class part that attaches to the ear. If that's the case, you should appear to have noticed that it's broken. Let me double check. Yeah, I think that's right. Well, do we pres We can't present the right ear, can we? Oh, you totally can. Okay. Yes. I thought it would have to be like, we uh, show the difference. Oh, she's looking away again. Oh, she knows she's caught. Miss Pavlova, I noticed that ear of yours. Rather shell-shaped, isn't it? Even though you have a metal earring, the decoration part of it seems to be missing. A little link holding it must have been broken, I suppose. Uh, what? My little angel gets ear piercing? What? When? I not gave you permission. Uh. But looking at your other ear, I notice a crescent moon. Uh, uh, my word. I don't believe it. How? The process is quite simple, but we'll save that for another day. Now, the missing crescent moon was found in the victim's clenched fist. Clearly, there's only one logical conclusion. Someone is lying. Wouldn't you agree, Mr. Narahoda? Yes, I would. Miss Pavlova, Mr. Sogi must have grasped that crescent moon and pulled it from your ear. Perhaps just moments before he fell to the floor. Uh, uh. In other words, Last night, in Mr. Osogi's cabin, you witnessed the moment the victim fell. 
with your own eyes. In fact, you're quite literally at arm's length from him. Is this more sinister than we first thought? My god! But then the question is, why did Asogi do that? Why did he pull your earring from your ear and hold it in his clenched fist during his final moments? Uh, no, no. A Angel, I also do not know. Tell story, please. No one can protect you now. Please, Miss Pavlova, tell us the truth. Last night, what did you do to Kazuma? Uh, 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 what the girl? <laughs> it's so dramatic. <laughs> Wee! I guess she's doing a, a ballet move. Jesus Christ. That felt like pulling teeth. Ow. What pain. When I think about everything that happened yesterday, it, it was too much. Too much for one episode. Running away, the fishing boats in the middle of night, trying to climb on this huge ship. And then, when I was at last in cabin and could relax after this horrible long day. Daka, wait, no! My kitty! Okay, so that totally did happen. And she isn't actually just a mad revolutionary trying to hide her tracks. I couldn't believe it when she disappeared through the ventilator. I tried to call her with a little whistle. I tried waving her favorite toy. But nothing worked. Taka would not come back. <laughs> Am I not good mother? I don't know. I'm I, I'm not the judge. I, I don't own a kitty of my own. I, hmm. I, was she in costume at this time? No, because her earrings. What are you doing here at a time of the night, Inspector? Inspector? Huh? Oh. I'm sorry. I thought it was a friend of mine. Apologies. These were his last moments? For real? So he opened the door himself. The young man from your country, he was very polite and kind and spoke my language, so that was nice. He helped me to find Darker, and he promised not to tell anyone. But then when I had my friend in my arm again, I was going to leave the man's cabin. Just a moment. Sorry, but... Uh, yeah, yeah, yes, I... I'm sure I know your face. I've seen you somewhere before. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, uh, unlikely it's not me. I get that lots. <laughs> Ah, oh, of course. You're Nikolina Pavlova, aren't you? The Russian ballerina. Huh? D no, I do not know that name, you silly man. Goodbye forever. My heart nearly stopped when he said that. He knew who I was. How could this man from land in faraway east know a Russian ballerina? Well, neat. Anyway, see you later. I saw your performance in Japan. The beauty of the ballet made a deep impression on me. But what are you doing on this ship? God, it looks so mad. I'm sure I read that your ballet company was performing in Shanghai at the moment. I, I can't fool him. I have to tell him the truth and hope he doesn't tell anyone. I have no other choice. Hmm. I see. So you're a runaway. Tragic. Please, please, keep my secrets, both of them. Don't tell anyone. Mm. Give me a moment. I could use another opinion here. Naruhoto, wait the crud up! What? He's going to pull that cord. He's going to tell the captain. Why did I think I could trust him? No way. Then it happened. Everything all at once. It was only a second, but it felt like forever. Wait, I shouted, and then... Darka jumped out of my arms. What the? 
and down to a young man's feet. And, and then... What's the matter? As he turned around to look at me... Huh? What? The headboard? Or no, the... What? The bed? I, I pushed him. You're joking. I don't even know why. I don't know why I did it. I, I was so scared. And I had to stop him from telling anyone about me. Dog, I'm for real crying in the club. This is effed up. This ain't even funny anymore. <sighs> and that's why... That's when you went to fetch help? I'm seeming strong enough. I was on duty out in the passageway. I heard Nina cry out and thought on floor. <laughs> so I ran to her. She was standing at cabin door shaking like leaf. She looked at me and said, Help me, Beef. If they find out, I will be... <laughs> I have nowhere to go. <laughs> what you do in this situation? So you decided to help. <laughs> Is that it? That's when you arrange things in Cosmo's cabin. To make it look like I did it. So that no one would suspect the passenger in the cabin next door. Uh, yes. I went into cabin and looked around to make sure there was nothing to show Nina was there. That's when I find stowaway. Uh, I mean you. And wardrobe. Still sleep. Right. That's when he found me. So you worked out a plan to lay the blame on the stowaway. Uh. I almost can't blame him, man. Because, dude, we, we were a stowaway. He probably thought we were no good. And of course he knows Pavlova, but still, man, that's evil. I closed wardrobe door and put back strange paper sign. Luckily for me, that's the only reason susato san started to believe me. I dragged young man's body to good place and used ink that was spilling on floor to write. I write... Uh, <laughs> sorry. Taburi Black. So the person who finds him look inside wardrobe to find stowaway. And tell me, what are the glass bell? You really should learn to clean up. It was by my feet, so I picked it up. I see. But it was dark in cabin. I didn't notice the other half. Hold up. Something don't add up. I'm sorry. I want to believe these people. But homie flew! He... I guess that's when they mean by arranging the body. No. If his if his head is over okay, if if the bed is over there, and the skid mark is over there. What? I'm sorry, I, I'm not understanding. The names went back into a cabin, and I finished job by pressing the emergency alarm button. Uh, ah. Well, accordingly, the SS Boyard did indeed come to an emergency halt. At a little after 2 a.m. And it wasn't me, just so we're perfectly clear. <laughs> Thus enticing the bolts on the cabin door to slide shut. Creating the locked room mystery. Mm. There's still one thing I don't understand, Miss Pavlova. W what? Well, you said that you told Cosmo about the fact that you run away from your homeland. It's because your word he was going to tell the captain that you pushed him. Isn't that right? I yes But even if he had pulled the bell cord and called for the captain of the ship, aren't your friends with everyone on the uh, like on the ship? Yeah! That doesn't make any sense! Why would that have been a problem? Uh, uh it was what he said first. That made me scared. What he said first? Huh? What'd he say? I heard forgotten. What are you doing here at uh, this time of night, Inspector? Oh, the Inspector. Crud. 
maybe she knew about Hosanaga. I'm sorry, I thought you were a friend of mine. But you're not. But that can change. Please don't kill me. <laughs> he said Inspector was his friend. Ah! Uh, you... Oh, goodness. <laughs> you were supposed to be... I was supposed to be acting as a bodyguard. Ah! Go Versailles! I thought that if police knew about me, they would arrest me. <laughs> so before he could pull bell cord, I... I... May I stop you a moment, please, Miss Pavlova? What's going on? It just doesn't seem to make sense. I mean, was Mr. Sogi really going to pull the bell cord? I don't know. No, he was gonna get me! Duh! But she didn't know that! What do you think? Ah, uh, yeah. Well, I'm not Kazuma, so I can't know for certain, but... I don't think so. He was a man of his word. If he told you he wouldn't give your secret away, then he wouldn't have done it. Plain and simple. No, he he, he was walking over to me. He, he was going to pull the cord. He was going to make them send me back. Well, Mr. Nalruhodo, what do you think? The day's work is not yet done, it seems. There's one deduction to make. Another deduction? Huh? Look at him. With both eyes this time, Naruto. What action was the victim really about to take at the moment? Aw, oh, come on, don't start. Can we determine whether the young man's gaze was directed? It's, it's plain to see. First, consider the victim's location within his cabin. That's easy. I remember every detail of the room. How could we not? I mean, yes, I spent quite a lot of time in the wardrobe, but still, even then, that cabin has been my home for this entire voyage. So this is how the cabin, look at this, this is so epic sad. He trusted Norohoto to be like, hey dude, what should we do? Like a friend would. And he also trusted us, he would keep, the, oh. I hate his attorney. Duh. He showed up for so little, but. God dang it. <laughs> what a bestie. So this is how the cabin looked last night. When Miss Pavlova visited Kazuma-sama? Yes, it's exactly how it was. Are you ready then, Mr. Naruto? As ready as ever to get out of these chains! There's one thing I've learned today. It's that a simple gaze can reveal all the manner of truths. No kidding. And not only that, in order to draw the right conclusion, you can't afford to be out by even a little bit. You're following the gaze to where it leads, or where it lands. So when turned away from Miss Pavlova, what exactly was Cosmo looking at? It was us, bro. It's gotta be that. Yo! That was fire! Take that! Oh! In your face! Not Rhoda, she's upset! I, I know, but... Take that! Considering everything that happened last night, certainly, it may have looked as though Cosmo was about to ring the bell cord. Yes, however, what I think was his gaze is directly beside the bell cord, the wardrobe. <sighs> she didn't know, though. The wardrobe? And more importantly, what was inside of it? Well, the man's great friend, sleeping soundly. Uh, I did not consider... Miss Pavlova, please, think back very carefully. What were Mr. Sogi's exact words last night? Give me a moment. I could use another opinion here. He had so, like, not threatening at all. But she was so on edge. Another opinion? Second opinion? Is this trauma center? No, that bad joke. I'm sorry. Yes, it was. But not from a member of the crew, you see. No, Mr. Sogi intended to consult his close friend on the matter. So, see if between them, they might be able to help you in some way, no doubt. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Sadly, we can't know the truth for certain. It's too late for that. But I wish you had made sure of what Mr. Sogi was looking at. Things may have ended very differently 
if you had. God dang it. I can't guilt trip her so No, she literally committed a crime! I got to! Miss Pavlova, I'm very sorry, but... I want to thank you for finally admitting the truth. But unfortunately, the truth is, a man lost his life because of what you did. And that will never change. I hope you'll never forget that. I'm so sorry. I really, I'm so, so, so sorry. <gasps> what have I done? <sighs> oh, God. <laughs> and so at long last, the mystery surrounding the tragic accident on the SS Burya was finally laid to rest. That's so... Uh, am I supposed to feel good? Cause I don't, bruh! This sucks. Ugh. What will happen to Miss Pavlova now, then? Once we reach Great Britain, she'll be handed over to the British police at Scotland Yard. What about the fact she ran away from Russia? Won't the Russians try to repatriate her? Apparently, the English detective can speak to the immigration office and sort all that out. He can do all that? Dang, okay. So she won't be going back to Russia, then? Uh, no, I don't think so. Even if she wanted to return in the future, I doubt she'd be able to. She ran away, so now she's in exile for life. Is that how that works? I... Huh, I see. Suppose so. I'm sorry. Seaman Stroganoff? Uh... I want to help our angel. No matter what. But... But... I... I didn't think about... You. And about how you lost good friend. I will go with Nina. I will give myself to British police. Yo, what? Huh? That's... Kind of you. I... In the meantime, thank you for letting me go again. Cosmo's death feels like such a waste, but... At least they're doing the right thing. They're going without a fight, also, God. Do what you can for Miss Pavlova, won't you? I will. Duh. Well, I'm afraid you need to pack now. We're due to arrive in Hong Kong tomorrow. As much as it pains me... I'm going to have to hand you over to the console to arrange your passage back to Japan. Yeah, I kind of figured. I did stow away, after all. Couldn't really expect any different. Eh, what can you do? So you should go back to your cabin now. Hi, then. Well, this sucks. Looks like my study tour to Great Britain is over before it even begun. I think this only days ago, Cosm and I were laughing together, we'd be tearing up the streets of London. Huh. Guess that asphalt will survive another day. Seems like a distant memory now. Dude, what a bummer! Uh, what's that? Is it someone weeping? Uh, Sasato. I didn't even notice you there. Um, ah! Gosh, you're scary sometimes. Naruto-san, I didn't know you had returned. Oh, yeah, just, uh, just dropped in. I haven't been back long. Inspector Hos Hosanaga just told me I should pack. You know, ready to leave the ship tomorrow and all that. Uh, oh, come on, no. I can't. I still can't believe this has happened. I can't believe someone's life can be over just like that. Sasato-san? I'm... I didn't know you two were that close. Jeez. I mean... He had such a grand idea for his visit to Great Britain. So many dreams. And now they'll be cruelly taken away. Just as he has. I thought I could never forgive the person responsible. But now so different. Now that we know the truth, that it was just an accident, 
Just a silly series of mishaps. It's just too much. Now, Rodosan, it's just too much. I know. I wish there was something I could say? What? Oh. Inspector? My duty was to see Asogi-san safely to Great Britain. But I failed. And caused his two closest friends great pain and suffering as a result. I've let everyone down. <laughs> Go as I! And I will do anything to make up for my terrible blunder! Nobody blames you, Inspector. Uh, what, huh? And I'm free again. What the dump? Huh? <laughs> Chaos follows wherever I go. Sherlock Holmes. <clears throat> Holmes, I mean. Surprised to see me again? I'm surprised to see you back in chains. Oh, however did that happen? You feet! Why? What is it? Why would you do this? We're having a moment! Oh, a trifling matter. Simply. That in my head, I think I shall always picture you wearing those shackles. They always say to make your dreams come true, right? No. <laughs> Without them, the balance seems all wrong. It's so distracting. So please, be enchained for the rest of your life. Do me a great service. So I decided to restore them for old time's sake, shall we say? No stowaway, after all. We need to look the part. <laughs> <laughs> how, how are you? You're a monster! You're so evil! You can't trust me after all this time! Man, you belong to A-hole. Mr. Sholmes? Um, well, we do appreciate all your assistance. I'd like to thank you. From the bottom of my heart. Not at all, not at all. And though it's a little late, may I offer my sincere condolences? I was actually being nice. The loss of your companion is truly heart trending. I hope that you will be able to fulfill some of his aspirations in his honor. Uh, well, I, I'm afraid that won't be possible. <laughs> Sorry. We shall be disembarking at the next port, in Hong Kong. We have to return to Japan and make full report about everything that happened. Uh, wait a minute, maybe we can just not do that? It's just me that has to go back, isn't it? I mean, I was the stowaway. Uh, don't be Sasato too, that's effed up. Is that where this is going? The terms of this study tour were negotiated by the Department of Justice in both Great Britain and Japan. It was to be one lawyer and one assistant. Huh? Is this is this going where I think it's going? In the light of Mr. Sogi's unfortunate death, I'm afraid the study tour can no longer go ahead. I... I don't... What? Oh no, I don't care for me, but... Yeah, poor Sasato. But, can I just fill in? My dear fellows, the majority of problems have an extremely simple solution, you know. Gorilla Glue, it's wonderful, check it out. But also, all you require is one lawyer. And the study tour can continue, surely. Well, but there's no one with the necessary qualifications, Mr. Shams. We know of no other lawyers. <laughs> Qualifications, you say? Koalas have nothing to do with this, Asado. Instead, any qualifications obtained in your own country will be of little value in Great Britain, I'm afraid. So what's the difference? A uh, but, but, but. Anyway, the butts can wait. The voyage to London so promises a good month of time. Ample opportunity, I would say, to find yourself another suitable lawyer. And maybe for a certain stowaway to brush up. Uh, yeah. Yeah, let's do it, dude. Let's go. I'm down. I thought it was actually just like an excuse for us to go back and just show him was going to like go back to Japan. Um, Sasato? Uh, yes. Do you think perhaps I might be able to do it? Uh, the thought simply never occurred to me. But you're not a lawyer, you're a 
What do you do again? Besides being accused of crimes, Mr. Naruto. Uh, unless... Are you also studying the law of the British? No, I'm not, but I can try. I'm sorry. In that case, I don't think there's even a chance it could work. But as I said, there is still more than a month before we reach England's shores. Isn't that right, Mr. Naruhodo? I like the way you're thinking, Mr. Scholes. Ooh! Yes, I have a month in which to study. To learn what I must to become a lawyer in Great Britain. I must. Mr. Naruhodo, that's ridiculous. Are you seriously suggesting anybody could learn all of that in just 40 days? There's only one way to find out. Yeehaw, let's go! That's me opening my book and reading at lightning speed. I would work my fingers to the bone, Inspector. Every single day. Will you let me try? And if by the time we reach Great Britain, I've learned enough to be recognized as a lawyer, I'll take whatever punishment is deemed appropriate. But please, no whips. I don't like them. I really, really don't like whips. Uh, well, I don't think they're common in the... Uh, courtroom, but why would you put yourself in such a difficult position? For Kazuma, he said that there was something he had to do in Great Britain, and that he would sacrifice anything to make it happen. That's so noble, bro. He was passionate about it. And I can't let all the passion just come to nothing. And anyway, it's for my own benefit, too. How can you not cry? This is so effed up. But it's also so, like, empowering. And, like, another, like, other word. I'm not good with words. If you haven't... Just, uh... I will become a lawyer. I have to. What do you say, Mr. Sato? Care to be my assistant? No. <laughs> and then they go home. <laughs> that would be awful. <laughs> oh, my God. Look at that smile. <laughs> I think it's a wonderful idea. <laughs> this music! Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Uh, even you, douchebag, McSholmes! <laughs> so, what does our... Uh, Bespectacled? Is that right, Naruto? Yeah, yeah, well, you did a good job. <laughs> We're all developing, aren't we? Inspector Frensei! You are just Spectre, aren't you? <sighs> Are you serious? That's a toothache. Oh, probably shouldn't bring that up. <laughs> one lawyer and one assistant. The numbers are indisputable. No, it's madness. Yes. Fascinating. Wouldn't you agree? That's another word for it. I, uh, I disagree. Duty and roles are the dull routine of existence that we all abhor. Give us interest. Give us fascination. You are a fool. Speak for yourself. Besides, qualifications are no measure of a man. What matters is character, no? Uh, a character would say that. And you've witnessed ample evidence of this man's exemplary character to dare with your own eyes. And my god, his vocabulary is exceptional! From the early hours of the morning to this very moment now, despite contending with the passing of his close friend and companion, and despite the accusation of guilt, this man has shown resourcefulness, intelligence, and some other third thing. Oh yes, courage above all. Mm, well, I suppose. Very well. I think of a clever way to word my report to the Department of Justice. Inspector. Wow. After all, I did just make a promise, didn't I? Well, I said that I'd do anything at all to make up my for my shortcomings. It actually works out. I can't believe how... I don't want to say it's clever, but man, it makes sense, given the circumstances and everything. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must pay a visit to the captain's quarters for another thrashing. I need to discuss also what to do next and how best to make my report. Later, taters. <laughs> <laughs> he, needs a, he needs a sayonara. Other than, uh, you know, bowing. 
Are you really prepared to attempt this, Mr. Naruhodo? Bruh, I've been ready. Let go! I mean, <clears throat> I'm going to try. I wonder, would you consider teaching me what I need to know? Everything about being a lawyer. I would be delighted to help you. I am a judicial assistant, after all. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> wow. This is a this start of a good team. And Mr. Norohodo? Oh, Bubba? I'd like you to take charge of this. Uh, uh, so, uh, are you sure? I don't even know if I could lift it. I'm sure it's what Kazuma-sama would have wanted. Uh, oh, the headband. I didn't even notice. Its name is... Karuma. It's a great sword. It's been in the Asogi clan for generations. Very well. I accept. I'll treasure it always. Y'all, I ain't got no... I got no tears left. This has been such a... I'm just moved. God! So then, Mrs. Sato? Seems we'll be working together for some time to come yet. Boy, enough talking! Hit them books, bro! Get out the highlighter pen! Whatever you use. Maybe the ink is not the best choice. Uh, it'll be an honor, Mr. Narvahodo. <laughs> and for the next 40 days, I shan't grant you a single minute of freedom. <laughs> we shall find every spare moment with study. We'll fill every moment with study. That's exactly what I need. Yes, I won't be daunted. But before we begin, I have an earnest favor to ask of you two. Uh, goodness, what is the... Where did the music go? What is it? Don't flip me again. Please don't. Please throw me to the ground. Three times. I, I could never! What? I would never have doubted you. You were Kazuma-sama's closest friend. Of course you would never have done anything to hurt him. That should have been obvious to me from the start. No, I'm not I'm not putting my hands on you. That's what I've done. But I allowed suspicion to get the better of me. And no matter how upset I was feeling, it was completely unbelievable head behavior. And unforgivable. No, you were in shock. It's fine. Really. No, I insist. If you don't throw, I will. I, you just. No, stop. I won't let you make excuses for me. Whatever the circumstances, I should have never thrown you. And not just once, but five times. Did you really throw me five times? Dang, that was count. The number keeps creeping up, doesn't it? Please. You must. Okay, but can we put, like, the pillows down or something? I... Just take hold of me and throw me. Do it. Don't even think about it. But what if I... What if I hurt someone else's neck? No, I... I, I, I don't even know how. I, I, I've never thrown any, anything or anyone in my life. Very wise, Naruhodo. It isn't a skill one acquires without considerable training. Exactly. What if I... Oh, oh Mr. Sholmes, you're still here. How embarrassing. Uh, I observed your throwing technique several times with great interest. I confess I was most impressed. What? Uh, what? What? Can you see with those goggles? Huh? You weren't even in the same room! You liar! I presume that will be a form of Japanese wrestling? Ah, how cool. In a way, it's not wrestling, but my own interpretation of an ancient jujitsu technique. Oh, apparently it's a Susato takedown. It leaves you your head swelling. Believe me, I've been there. Hmm, how beguiling. Well, I'm a practitioner of the combative arts myself. No, what? Hold on! Yo, stop! up! I'm a somewhat accomplished boxer, you see. Come on. They're actually about to spar. What? Here he goes, dancing around again. Sholmes, that jab's getting a little close, my man. Cut it out! Stop! I wonder if you based on the instruction on the technique of your arresting throws. Mmm. Yes, I'd be honored. What? You gotta teach me first! Then let us not dally. Demonstrate, my dear madam. Oh, of course. What are you looking at me for? Are you ready, Mr. Norohodo? This effed up. I'm not having fun. F this game. F this game. Why? You just said. As you can see, you throw from the abdomen. Ah, yes. Arresting indeed. And that is what you term the Susato takedown? 
Actually, no. That was a Sasato squash. What's the difference? <laughs> well, actually, there's a very- No, we don't have time for this. Please, I need to be a lawyer! In my groggy state of consciousness, a scene from an evening recently spent with Cosmo flickered into my mind. Oh, come on. Don't make me cry again. Wait, what? Oh, it's a sword. Karuma. Yes. It's really cool, isn't it? That's right. It's a prized sword. It's been passed down through generations of the Asogi clan. It takes up the entire screen! It's huge! Ha 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 ha! I can't believe you managed to get permission to bring it with you. I mean, taking a katana on a study tour is more than a little irregular. Surely. Well... Sosu. Ha! A Japanese man's sword is his soul, Ryanosuke. I can't be parted from my katana. Kuruma guides me. I truly believe that. And now it's with us. Jeez. So it's a name compels its leader to silence evil in two? Now th that you would need much compelling. <laughs> On that subject, there's something very important that I have to do in Great Britain. And I'll sacrifice anything to make it happen. I appreciate you seeing it through with me. Yo, no problem, dude. Hope we both make it there unperturbed. I'll see it through to the end with you. Heck yeah. I knew you wouldn't let me down. <laughs> this is so effed up. That important thing he had to do. I still don't know what it was. Crud! I thought I was going to say it now! God dang it. But I'm going to see the place for myself and work it out. In Great Britain's capital. London. Dog, I got chills. This, the chapter started. It, it had a, a midpoint that was a little, mm, I don't know. But God, it picked up so hard. And I guess in the next chapter, we're going to London, baby. Pack your bags. Yeah!